Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, this uh, will be a start of a new series of uh, my videos uh, about uh, Logson and uh, we will start with uh, trying to create an extension uh, for Logson using the Raspberry Pi and uh, what we are doing here it's um, an extension uh, relay for Raspberry, for Raspberry Pi to be able to connect it with your uh, locks on uh, devices uh, as you can see this is what we are planning to uh, create uh, uh, today we have very cheap uh, extension uh, for relays and uh, we created a, a HTML device you can operate it via the, your website or locks on Relay 4 off Relay 4 Yeah Okay We shall begin As you could see on my previous video uh, when I tried to create a tutorial for uh, Raspberry Pi uh, to be able to control your Raspberry Pi via uh, a web browser and uh, this is the video what we created previously and now we will use the same tutorial to create um, the Logson Relay extension for uh, Raspberry Pi uh, the first part of the tutorial it's the same like the previous one you need to prepare your Raspberry Pi and uh, you will have to follow the same steps and uh, what we have different it's uh, on the code as you can see you can find the code in here step by step everything what you need to do simple if you want just copy paste and uh, restart your Raspberry Pi and you are ready to do the configuration on the uh, Luxon uh, config and that will be all very fast and easy as you can see for the moment on the Luxon web, uh, web page we have nothing we go to Luxon config and we have our mini servo I call it Raspberry Pi because uh, we will uh, create a Raspberry Pi project now. I like to see it live when I do all the configuration, but for the moment we don't need it. Okay, first, if we go back to the web page, you will see when I activate the first relay, for example, turn it on. What you need to do, you just need to access your uh, your Raspberry Pi IP address and port, followed by the um, uh, which output you wanted to activate, on and off. If I modify here and it says off, press enter, my relay is off. If I wanted to play with relay seven and uh, um, I wanted to make it on done uh, it's on switch it off off well, which one we have there? one, two, three, four, the fourth one yeah and now we switch off the fourth one done we need to make locks on to access those um, addresses First, we need uh, on the Luxon config, you have to select your uh, uh, Raspberry Pi mini server here, and then you can see all the extensions input and outputs. Those are the virtuals. What we need to do, we need the um, virtual output. Yeah, click on the virtual output, and we will have here. We can add another virtual output. 
add a virtual output and we will call it uh, for example raspberry by mm, extension one we will see in case you will have more extension for example Okay, we have to assign it to a room, it will be easier for us. I just created one room, Raspberry Pi, that's it, nothing else. Okay, now we need to type the uh, Raspberry Pi address. Uh, in our case, the easiest way, I just go there, copy, and I will do copy and paste. Copy, paste. And that's it. Now we can uh, save it. The mini server is restarting. In the meantime, we can create the relays one by one. We have to select the output, and then we go to do uh, to create a virtual uh, command. Click add the virtual command. We have one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's the command one. I wanted to make it easier. Control. Let me see how big it is. This one. Yeah. Okay, we do all of them. Done. Click on the first extension, first relay. Okay, and now we need to uh, edit the command. Okay, now we have the first uh, output. Out one slash on. Now we go to command for off. Out one slash off and we will repeat the same for each one yeah. Okay, now we save it. Okay, while it's saving, we need another page. That's the standard one. We create a new page. Okay, come on. Okay, we name it one. Okay, we assign to a category. I created the Raspberry Pi again and to a room raspberry pi and now if we go in here we have nothing in here we selected like a default screen to have a raspberry pi but there's nothing here because we didn't assign anything to that room and now we have this page assigned we save it. Okay, in this page, first we need the switches F5. Oh, the switch. Oh, well, I have already set it up. That switch. We take this one. Yeah, and what we can do, we configure this one first. To have relay one, okay, category 
we change it to Raspberry Pi as well and in the room Raspberry Pi because the page is for the Raspberry Pi room okay select the switch control C control V two three four five six seven eight okay relay eight relay seven relay six relay eight no <laughs> five okay and one by one the mini server to restart and in the theory we should have all these relays in here that's it one two switch them all one by one working that's it simple raspberry pi locks on works very well Okay, see you in the next video. Thank you.